My research at Stanford was really on climate change and conflict and understanding what the mechanisms that are that might link the two. So looking at agricultural exports and how those relate to government capacity, which in turn relates to civil conflict, particularly in sub-Saharan Africa. A lot of the climate change research related to agriculture has to do with food crops, corn, wheat, uh, rice, and how climate change is going to impact the production of those crops. And those are very important from a food security perspective and from a subsistence perspective. But there are a lot of other things going on in rural areas from an agricultural standpoint. Um, a lot of these countries in sub-Saharan Africa particularly um, grow a number of other agricultural export crops, uh, cotton, coffee, cocoa, tea, uh, vanilla. And all of these crops are really important for the formal economy in those countries and government revenues, which is closely related to government capacity. And the effects of climate change on those crop crops uh, is less well understood. And then how those crops and the production and value of those crops relates to government revenues and how those relate to, gov uh, to civil conflict um, is an area that I spent a lot of time doing research on. So there's a tremendous amount of research on food, agriculture, climate, and conflict. And the research spans a wide spectrum. There's focus on the effects of climate change on food security and agricultural crops. And then there's been a tremendous amount of work done on looking for a, a climate signal for civil conflict, particularly in sub-Saharan Africa. And a lot of this work draws a very clear and simple path. If it rains more or if it rains less, there will be more or less conflict. And these studies are useful for highlighting that it's important to look at climate change and conflict, but they're more difficult from a policy perspective for getting at what the mechanisms are and how we might think about intervening to actually address reducing the risk of conflict from potential climate change impacts. The only way to change you know, the agricultural outputs due to climate change is to change climate change and reduce climate change or stop it. And we're not really good at that part. So one of the things that my research has been focused on and, and a lot of the current research is beginning to focus on is starting to understand the mechanisms that underlie the potential relationship between climate and conflict so that we can start identifying interventions that make sense to reduce the vulnerability of people to conflict and help them to adapt to uh, the coming climate change.